What's the most angsty thing you did as a teenager? I put emo statuses on MSN Messenger and tried to act mysterious. Made my whole family watch System of a Down music videos. I was so hardcore. I once cut myself in the bathtub because my mom wouldn't let me go to a Fallout Boy concert. Wore long-sleeved black shirts and carried an umbrella, an umbrella, not even a parasol, around at the local pool while my family swam. We were required to wear a red ribbon on drug-free red ribbon day. I pierced the skin of my forearm and wore it there, not the top layer, all the way through. Put on 9-inch nails super loud, closed the door to my room, and did curls of 10 pounds. Free weights shirtless in the mirror while I worried that I'd be scrawny forever. I did everything in the dark. I thought closing my curtains and sitting alone in the dark by myself made me seem cool and mysterious. Turns out it just leaves you with no friends and bad eyesight. Cried myself to sleep while listening to Evanescence. I bought all sorts of atheist literature and literally never read it. Listened to Linkin Park at a non-confrontational volume and felt mad about being oppressed. Oh my. Age 14 went to my bed and cried on Christmas morning because my mom had gotten me all this stuff I didn't like. You don't know who I'm e. In 8th grade, I used a pencil to carve Slayer into my forearm. Since I couldn't get a tattoo, I also took every possible opportunity to tell people I was an atheist and why religion is bogus. I'm less of an arsehole now. My dad was being a D to me and I told him I wished I could just leave my house forever. He said fine do it, but you can't take anything I've bought with you. I proceeded to strip naked and walked out my house. He let me walk naked a couple blocks before bringing me back. Good times. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with a clockwork orange. I didn't really understand what it was about at the time. I was just a teenager. I just knew it was this dark, cool movie set in the UK, where everything is automatically way cooler. Anyway, I would sit in my room after school and drink a tall glass of milk and think edgy thoughts about society and being an outsider. Where does angst and mental illness begin? I draw a picture of myself with a sad face, and a picture of a moose and put some of my own blood on its butt. The angsty. Sad Facebook statuses. Thanks to the memories thing, I now get a daily dose of cringe from my teenage years. Wrote a notebook about my feelings and gave it to the person I had a crush on. This was at 19. Ah, young, dumb, and stung. I don't even remember what I was mad about but I got really mad at my mom and brother and decided to run away and literally did a loop around the park down the street and came back. Still so embarrassing. I wonder if they remember it lol. Mom and I argued about some bullet. So I slammed my door. Put Pearl Jam's daughter. You know. The one that goes don't call me daughter. Not fit to. On repeat and cranked the volume up so my mom would hear it. I don't think she even noticed. As a teenager with undiagnosed ADHD I slammed my arm against the edge of a brick wall over 8 times in attempts to break my arm so I could miss class. I remember feeling like a coward because I would flinch before I hit the wall. I didn't break my arm. And I went to class. I wrote mean things about people on World of Warcraft. I listened to Linkin Park unironically. Feeling motivated by the lyrics. Grew my hair. Pierced my eyebrow and started smoking. Does that count? I wore long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts under long sleeve shirts. Wore a long black coat through my last two years of high school and a pentagram around my neck. I took a rush at my dad cause he wouldn't let me buy satanic literature. Plenty of things but that's the first that came to mind. Yahoo chat used to have a function where you could write actions. Like Grouch's ugly cousin looked at you. I used to spend hour honing the perfect, angst ridden, my life is horrible message that probably rivaled Sporks. I'd also compose free-range poetry and spam the chat with pages of it, line by line. I have no idea why I called it that. It was supposed to be something cool and edgy. I kept a journal full of it and man is it terrible. 
I had a new kids on the chopping block t-shirt that had a drawing of the NKOTB getting executed. Rage posted on Lover Journal. Practiced Wicca. Did angry interpretive dances to bright eyes in my room alone. Played you ought to know at max volume after my first relationship ended. Never mind that I was the one cheating on her. I read Johnny the homicidal maniac and thought no one but him could understand me. I think I had a crush on him. Pretty disturbing. My parents wouldn't let me take the train with my friends into the big city when I was 15. So I threw a hot dog at the wall. The greasy dong like mark was embedded in the wallpaper for years. I had the hots for a girl who helped out at her dad's grocery store. I would hang around for hours outside then pluck up enough courage to go inside. I would end up buying two lemons each time. Then throw the lemons away afterwards. I never said more than two lemons please and thank you to her. I have no idea now why lemons. Gauged my ears to 2 inches and gauged my septum to zero all while I was in high school. I attracted the emo girls unfortunately. Also turned a mechanical toothbrush into a jailhouse tattoo gun. Then my friends and I gave each other home tattoos. I was smart enough to get one only on my upper thigh where no one could see. I was really into punk and hardcore and all the emo girls from my school would come up to me at lunch trying to have me listen to songs that described their feelings for me but they would be by bands of genres I didn't listen to. The young girl I did like when I asked her name she told me really Denisa but no my ears are sewn up and I joined the military I had to escape my fate. I emptied a green glow stick into my hair. I drew a pentagram on the cover of my school diary with a silver metallic paint marker. Duck I'm a normie to you lot. I just watched 2000s era internet porn and flash games and didn't jerk it. I once realized I was wearing all black so I changed my joker t-shirt into a bright blue t-shirt. I did not want to be associated with edgy kids. About 13. Got into a fight with my mum over something ridiculous and ran away. I came back about half an hour later when my iPod ran out of battery. I wrote a rap song dissing my teacher, which is basically a ripper for Eminem songs. My dad discovered the lyric sheet and sentenced me to a year of pain and suffering. Listen to Last Kiss by Taylor Swift as I wrapped myself up in a blanket. I was a burrito stuffed with my incinerated trust, growing self-doubt, and a heart of sorrow. The city lights were bright. But they could never be on par with the way my tears glistened that night. I tried to commit suicide. Shaved a side of my head and dyed my hair blue. Pink streaks. Cut holes in my hoodie sleeves. Heavy eyeliner. Used a black pen to draw a heart on my forearm with my crush's initials in it. Then gradually drew in black blood throughout the day as my angst grew. I was a teen a long time ago. We did not have the interwebs for entertainment. I would dress up like someone from Def Leppard and go to the mall. And walk from one end to the other. As the record stores were on opposite ends. Lol. Felt completely full of myself. My brother and I started skipping Sunday school to hang out with friends instead. Our parents made us go every week for years. Even though they never went to church themselves. They were furious to learn from the Sunday school director that we were apparently more interested in matters secular than sacred. Currently a teenager. Angstiest thing I've ever done is download a bunch of my chemical romance songs. I still love them. Also the time I posted a picture of the moon on Instagram with the caption how can everything be so amazing and so terrible at once specifically so people would ask what's wrong and I could ignore them. The mid 2000s cringe is strong in this thread. I was the epitome of your verismitness eguai. So, anything and everything related to that. Used a safety pin as an eyebrow piercing. Nitty completely through my eyebrow. But just looked one layer of skin. I ran away from home and left Linkin Park's num playing on repeat in my room so that my parents would know I was angry. I came back home before they ever even knew that I had ran away. I was on my period. Wall of my own angsty. Scribbly art. Ultimate highlight. Block letter liar traitor rich in red and black stabilo pen. With the edges burned. In my walk-in wardrobe. Inspired by my muse. The on-off best friend. When I was 17 I was in the hospital a lot. 
and I was always kind of a grim, quiet type. So I only really made friends with two kinda punk rock type of nurses. They and one other nurse were going to a tool concert, and the third nurse bailed out. So they asked me if I wanted to buy the ticket. Best goddamn concert I've ever been to. I was 15. My crush was hanging out with a guy. So I silently stormed away, ignored them as they drove up beside me to ask if I was okay, walked out to the nearby park's river while they watched, and hopped a couple stones until I could sit and brood on a rock in the middle of the river. I remember in the back of my mind I thought I'm upset but I probably look cool as duck. I fass a poem about it to this day. Kicked a chair out of anger which resulted in getting my toe broken. Dyed my hair pink. Had four lip piercings, thick winged eyeliner, wore converse and walked around my high school at lunch by myself with Escape the Fate playing loudly. That might explain why I have bad hearing now. Cut the back of my wrists very lightly with a blade from a pencil sharpener because I was so deep. I then spent a week wearing jumpers dressing gown etc at all times because I was embarrassed of the tiny red lines. 